hi everybody. This is my island. I'll show you a quick little update on what I've been working on. And then today we are going to work on one of the beaches and putting a few things on a couple little terraforming areas that I did. So thanks for being here. I appreciate it. And so we will start just uh, right in front of my house, I guess. So I've just been adding a few things here and there, like the little wicker baskets, more food, more drinks. So I initially did a lot of areas and now I just keep adding to them and they kind of keep growing. So sometimes I'll do just one big build and leave it, but usually I'll do a small build and add to it, add to it. So here is a little food area. So this is a winter spa resort. So it's for grown-ups who just want to come and sit in hot tubs and eat good food and read books. So I'm going to call it my winter spa resort. So here is a little reading area. And we will cut back here by the little bear cave. I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. I think it looks super cool though. I made the cave white or gray or whatever. And here's a couple little areas we need to add some flowers or things to today, just to fill the area up a bit. Get some color happening. You may have seen some of these areas if you've watched any of the previous videos, but I love this lamp right here. It's called a pa paper lamp. Oh man, I can't think of the name of it now. Oh, I'm trying to get a picture of it up close for you. All right, hold on. Let's try over this way. Uh, anyway, when you customize it, you can put any custom code in the lighted area. So look at this. It's like the bath hot tub area. That is just so pretty. But anyway, that's a great, uh, a great item to use. <laughs> I like it. You can turn it off and turn it on. But anyway, so there's that. And we have a nice full moon tonight. And here's another seating area, another book reading area. So, yeah, like I said, it's just kind of uh, what I envision would be a great island to go to. You can just go anywhere you want. There's hot tubs, there's reading, there's coffee, there's food. So that's what, we are, that's what we're doing on this island this time. So the area here, the mining area has expanded a bit. They have to wash their clothes. They're getting warm by the fire. It's a little blockade right there I made. And then it extends up onto the cliff right over here. So it kind of extends here and you can see the rocky background. So there's that. Okay, I love the glow moss on the snow also. That is so pretty, I love it. Okay, so we're gonna head up this way. Kind of cut across, it's getting pretty full. There's not too many areas left really to add anything. Here's a little seating area, little gift piles. So I think after today's build, we'll just need to work on the beaches and then a few of these little transition areas like that. But I don't want to fill them up too much. I want those to be like open areas that you're walking through and just enjoying the forest. And then you come upon the hot tubs or the food or a reading, you know, area with a fire. <laughs> so that's the idea anyway. But anyway, we'll head up here. Cut over here to this shave ice machine. I do like the illuminated presents at night. They're just so pretty. The blue and the pink and the white ones. Those look really good. All right, come up here to our little reading area now. I was doing each area. I just thought, what would I find cozy? So that's why I added, you know, the fires and, <laughs> you know, each one as it is. So I think they're cute. Like I said, I just keep adding to them, expand, expanding the areas a little bit bigger. I did put the snow code down on a lot of the beach areas. So now all we need to do is go back and fill those areas in. All right, we'll head over here and again, another hot tub food area. <laughs> Get some soup kettles and... I did finally get the uh, little rattan, wicker rattan baskets, and I think that looks cute by the little hot tubs because that's what you would normally see. Oh, look at Sprinkles, so cute. She's checking out the uh, fruit cupcakes. 
but this is the one I finally did down by the ocean because if you're on an island, it would be kind of cool to sit in a hot tub next to the ocean, right? So I'll we'll head up here, go back here and check out the little secluded area one. That's so cute. I would pick that one <laughs> for me. Okay. Just kind of, I guess I think I will just stop talking and let you just kind of see some of the area. And this area here is going to head up to either to the left side to the tree cutting area or straight ahead if you follow the path to the sled checkout area and then up to the skating rink area. So you can follow the path. You can see the little lights kind of leading you the way. And there's all the sleds. Well, pick up a couple weeds here. And then we'll go up. I kind of am really happy. Uh, look at the little... Um, Oh my goodness, the simple panel back there with the skating codes on there. I think that turned out pretty cute. The little cube lights. I think all of the custom codes are just so adorable that I found. And I did leave the uh, creator codes for all of those. Oh gosh, I think on day two or day three video, I, I left the whole list. So if you like any of these codes and would like to use them, then there are the the names that you can use, the codes to use. Okay, but we're gonna cut through over here and go to the back beach area. I did get most of the snow codes down on the beach and the rocks that we're going to do. So now we just need to uh, get our DIY bench out, create a few things and um, put them down. So I'm not really sure what we're gonna do. Let's see, I have a few things in my pocket left from last time. And then from there, uh, we'll just build some things and fill that little rocky out, out, that rocky outcrop, is that the word? That little rocky area, uh, that's, that's our goal for the day. I do actually know the names of all of the items on here. <laughs> it's just, it's very late in the evening when I'm filming this and it's just, I'm tired, I guess. I can't think of the names, but I've done, I've played this for a long time and trust me, I do know the names of them. I just sound like I don't today for some reason. I don't know. But anyway, so let's see what we have in our inventory that we can use first. I don't really have a lot of things in the inventory that really will work on here. There's, yeah, there's not too many things. I did go to a couple treasure islands, but we've used all of those items already. So we'll grab the few little items here that we have, and then we'll make like a chair and some little tables and things like that. Definitely want to grab a few snacks and treats, though. I mean, if you're going to sit out in the hot tub and the fire, you have to have your, your treats or your book or both. Okay, I'm not really sure what exactly we're going to make, oops, but uh, probably grab some just uh, wood and iron and make some barrels and a log chair after we get these things placed and a couple little tables. So let's uh, see what we can come up with. Well, I guess the DIY bench is bigger than I <laughs> thought it was, but uh, all right, there we go. So I guess it is bigger. All right, let's see what we're gonna make. Oh, I wanna customize. Oh, I only have a few, four customization codes and the shop is closed. Well, I guess we're not gonna be really customizing but maybe one thing here, but that's okay. We'll just do with what we have and we'll go from there. Just trying to pick the one item really that, well, we might not even need to customize any of them, I guess. Let's do the glow moss stool. I wanna turn that one white. You know, just so it looks like the snow. I think you can put things on it. I'm not sure, but we will try. 
And see, it just looks like a white boulder. So it's kind of pretty. All right. And start just kind of putting things down and seeing how it looks and move things around. There is not a lot of space on the rock here, and I want to try and put as many things as we can fit in this little tiny area. So we'll just do a lot of uh, picking up and putting down and sco scooching back and forth, I guess. But a few things I want down here. The heater. I love this little lamp. I do kind of want to rearrange those a little bit. I like the bamboo. The, I think it's called salted, the finish on the bamboo, so the brown. I think that is so, so cozy and so pretty. Snow code looks uh, pretty good, I think, on the rocks. It looks good on the sand as well. I tried to put it straight down onto the snow to make a path out of, and it didn't really look very good, but it does look really good on the rock, I think, and the sand. So it kind of brings the whole island together, brings it on all the way out to the water. So, I mean, if you're going to do an island, got to do the beaches, I think. I mean, to me, it feels like it's all part of the same thing. So I always like to do a little something on the beaches anyway, but... I really like that bonsai shelf, too, but I'm not really sure. I might put a chair right there, but all right, we'll just, we'll see. See if we can place this here. Oh, I guess you can't put something on there. I thought for sure you could, but let's try it one more time. Nope. I guess you can just sit on it, but you can't place things on it. But all right, we'll just put that in a different place then. And uh, I think I have a bottle crate or something like that that we'll put here. And there we go. It's red, so that's kind of perfect. All right, let's think about what we want to put here. I'm not sure if I want to put like the, I think I have a project table and I can put some different foods and things down. I'm trying to kind of picture, it's kind of an awkward area, right? So it's kind of, um, yeah, just kind of an awkward area. So let's try the project table and we'll put a couple food items and I'm not sure what the simple panel is. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's not quite right for what we're doing. That's more like a hot chocolate stand or a coffee, coffee stand. So I'm thinking, oops, that's the wrong button. <laughs> there we go. I was just trying to pick that up. Okay, so we will not be using the simple panel tonight. Oh, gosh, I can't push that any closer either. Yeah, this, this area is kind of, uh, kind of awkward, but you know what? It's going to be super cute when we're done. I have, uh. All the confidence and all the cute little things we're going to put down here. As cute as all the items are in this game, it's pretty hard to go wrong with an island. I mean, really, everything that we put down is so cute that, I mean, it's pretty hard to make it look terrible. <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, I'm not sure what my next island is going to be because this one here seems like just the most cozy winter thing that I would love to do. So... I have to think about what the next one will be because we're almost done. I mean, really, the, all that's left after this will be a few of the beaches and a couple transition areas. So maybe like one more video. So uh, we'll have to think about what the next one. It's definitely going to be in the winter still because only be in the middle of November. I, I just cannot quite jump to spring yet. So 
It will definitely be another winter one, but I'll have to resist the urge from going all cozy hot tubby. Hot tubby? Hot hot tub-ish. <laughs> spa-ish, whatever. So we'll have to resist that urge to be all spa, hot tub, cozy. Okay, we're going to make some barrels and chair and maybe a stool or two. So that way we can put some food down and a tiki torch and a bonfire. And um, yeah, I think we'll just start with that. Oh, I wanted to do the bamboo partition, but I must not have enough bamboo pieces because that bamboo partition... When you customize it, make it the brown one. I just love how it's it's a nice little blockade behind you. Oh, yeah. I don't have enough bamboo. Oh, well, that's okay. We will just uh, carry on without it. Okay, I'm just taking a quick look at what we have or what we can use. And I think I have enough in my pocket just for the fires and the chair and maybe a bench or stool. And uh, that's kind of all we need, I think, because we have all the other stuff in our pocket. So let's get craft in here. Just double checking if there's anything that we just really have to use here. <laughs> but I don't think so. I think we're good to go. Just double check in. All right. Let's pick these up and uh, place down the stuff we just made because we can't customize it. So that's okay. We don't have to customize everything on here. But all right. Let's see what we can find space for now. This little uh, rock area here would be super cozy if it was like in real life. And you could sit right on the edge of the water right there with the waves coming up and all your stuff. I think that would be really super cozy. So I'm kind of liking it. I, I think the island so far, I think, is turning out qu quite cute. I mean, I've done some where I get like halfway through and I'm like, oh, it's just not what I want. I restart, restart. But this one I think is turning out pretty cute. I really like do, working in the snow. And uh, yeah, I'm glad I fast forwarded to December. Love these log chairs. They fit pretty much every island, which obviously is the intent of why they make them for us. But uh, yeah. That's really cool. And even if it's not customized, it looks just fine. So I just want to organize my pocket a little bit here. I have a lot of stuff that I'm not going to use. So let me see. Let me figure out what we are going to use. And then try and just get a little bit more organized here real quick. 
Okay, let's drop some firewood here by the bonfire. And that's probably everything that we're going to put into this area for right now. I don't really know what else I could put in there. It's kind of just an awkward little spot where you can't really put too much. And the other side of the island on the, on the back rock, I did the reading area. So I don't want to double up on what I'm doing. I'm trying to make them each a little bit unique. Okay, so we're going to head over to a few of these little terraformed islands not islands, terraformed areas that I did. I think there's just three or four that are just very small. And I want to add some flowers and maybe a holly bush or something on there. And um, so we're just going to cut across the island and <laughs> go for that. Okay, so here's one here. And I need to grab out of my storage shed the holly bushes. And I think I might have some green shrubbery that's not going to bloom. So I might put a few of those out, but I have just a couple of these little areas that I need to put something on top of. It just kind of breaks up the area if it's too flat. Like I wanted it pretty flat, but just add a few of these here. So and clean out my pocket first to get a little bit organized because it's a little bit uh, chaotic trying to find what we want right now. Okay, so we are looking for the holly bush, holly starts, and what else is this third one over here? Oh, hydrangea starts. Okay, so that won't be blooming, but it'll be just green. So that will be nice. Just double check if there's anything that could go up on top of these little tiny areas. I don't really think so, but we're just going to look just in case. I have a lot of clothes. I, <laughs> I like going and buying the different clothes, you know, every day from uh, the tailor shop. So I do have a lot of outfits and I try to change them for each video that I do as well. So that's why I have more clothes than I do inventory. But I like that hearth right there. That's one of the things that they use in the new Zelda game that they use. Gosh, I can't remember how many different items, but they use it in Zelda and it's items from Animal Crossing, which might have come from someplace else as far as I know, but they're pretty much the same item. So I did a little video on some of the ones that are doubled up and I thought that was just kind of cool, but I'm running down here to get some flowers. I can't remember exactly where I put them. I have one little area left that has a whole bunch of red and white flowers that I planted. So obviously <laughs> I should have grabbed them before we uh, headed clear over there, but oops, go around this way, grab that weed. Uh, oh, here we go. Okay, so these are the last of the flowers that I have. And let's see what we got in the bottle. If it's going to be something fabulous. Let's see. Uh, not really anything that's going to fit the island, but that's okay. All right, so we're going to just dig up some of these flowers and then take them back to those little areas. Okay, we're going to start with this one here. I didn't think that you'd really care to watch me dig up all those flowers <laughs> so just cut that part out but all right we're just not going to put much up here maybe like that little snowman and a flower or maybe a bush on each one so I'm keeping it very minimal on the uh, terraformed areas oh that pink kind of matches because right in front of it is my house that has all the pink and white flowers oh that looks cute all right, we're going to run over here. There's one here and then two more in a different area. So let's see. I don't think we can jump across. No. I did put that big moon over there on the left side. I think that looks super cool. I know it's a full moon anyway most of the nights that I'm here, but I love that big moon that we can put over there. All right, maybe one flower. Uh, maybe one more. So I'm just just doing a couple little things just to put a little bit of color, a little bit of something up there. All right, then there's a couple right here. The uh, vines look super cool in the winter too. Aren't those cool? They're like all frosted over. The glow moss and the vines, they look so neat, I think. Hmm. 
This one I'm going to do a little bit extra flowery with four flowers. And then the other one over there, I might do like one. So it's just a little bit different. And I think, by the way, the music at this time of night is pretty relaxing as well. I mean, it's no 5 a.m., but it's pretty good. This is a pretty relaxing uh, hour, so I kind of like it. But, yeah, so that's all I'm doing up here, just barely a little bit up there. Okay, so we're going to run around and just find a place for these flowers because I don't want to get rid of them. I have enough flowers, I think, for a winter island on here, but... Since these are the last that we have, I didn't mean for that to go in the sand. Um, I want to find a place just randomly, but not uh, not like that. So <laughs> let's fix that up. I want them to look appropriate. But uh, I think we'll just run around here and find a place for all these flowers. And then uh, call it good. So thanks for being here, everybody. If I didn't say that, I appreciate your time and... Uh, all the views that you get and the, that I get from you and the very nice comments. I appreciate all of those. And anytime that if you like a creator, the comments and the thumbs up really, really tell YouTube that you like their content, their videos. So if you have been ever leaving me a comment or a thumbs up, I really appreciate it. I appreciate the views as well. And just wanted to say thank you for that. the secret beach is over here i totally forgot about doing anything with that so i think we're going to cut back over there and i'll probably have to get the diy bench out i do want to make at least like two barrels and maybe a bonfire put back here i did leave access to the beach on purpose and um yeah so let's do that let's get out the diy bench and some wood and some iron and make a couple barrels and a bonfire That's a fun little view of the uh, DIY bench. You can see all the stuff <laughs> throwing up, being thrown up in the air as uh, you're creating your stuff. So that's kind of fun. Okay, so this is kind of a small little area, but we just want to fit uh, the fire and the two barrels. Oh, no. The two barrels and the bonfire, which those should easily fit back here. We just have to, <laughs> oh, my gosh, scooch them around because of the rocky edges and all. But I know they will fit. So there we go. There's that one. Then we just put a couple barrels in. I don't want to leave any place big like that, just wide open. So... Let's put these in here. Might be too close to the water. Yep. So we'll back up a little bit.
Okay, that's much better. We can't leave a big old gap like that <laughs> just sitting out unfilled. Okay, I'm going to put that glow moss stool right here because I think that will fit in with all the glow moss and the snow. And then we're just going to kind of run around and take a few little pictures and find one that looks cute for the video. And that's going to wrap up the video for the day. So let's see where... Hmm, this one... No, we've already used this one. Kind of a nice little picture, though. So let's run over here. And I do have still a few little transition areas to fill in. Not too much, so... Yeah, probably one more video or two to do the beaches and then those little transition areas. So I'm going to have to start thinking of what I want my next island to be already. Okay, let's head up this way. I think I'll sit by the cave by the bears. Okay. All right, I'm going to take this photo. But thanks for being here, everybody. And we will catch you next time. All right, have a great day, everybody.